Lokitebe of Botswana. The one from Carabo Sabande, his countryman, wasn't bad either in the first heat. These are the athletes lining up for the third heat in the semi-final round. Wu Guang there of China in lane eight. And outside him, the Briton Cameron Chalmers, the young man from Guernsey, a student in Bath. Proud to be wearing his British vest. And I've done a bit of a count on how busy Cameron Chalmers has been this year. Now, taking into account all the races he's done indoors this year, Cameron Chalmers, well, we're in the seventh month of the year, and this is 27th race at 400 metres. So here is the full lineup. And in two, Salomon Croatia in three, Banfield Canada in four, Jeffrey Kipritic, who was actually the fastest qualifier from the first round heats, in round 46 23 in yesterday's first round, although the level just been cranked up a little bit, to say the least, in these semi finals. Kipritic in five. Taylor, another heat winner of Jamaica in six. Just 16, the World Youth Champion. Wilbert London the third, cracking name, the American, in lane seven. And Wu Yuang there of China inside the Britain in lanes eight and nine. So just the first two guaranteed of a spot in the final at the moment. Banfield of Canada has gone off in a very committed fashion there in lane three. Starting to hunt down Kipritich, the American Wilbert London. Well, he may well have seen his countryman in the first heat, Kamari Montgomery, who almost fell out of the blocks and coasted through the first 200. London the third making no such mistake. Well, he's London the third, but he's pretty intent on being London the first, I think, in this final semi-final. He comes into the straight with a three-metre lead on Kipritich. London of the United States, Kipritich rocking and rolling, coming through there. He might even snatch the lead. Indeed, he does. Kipritich one, London the third two, if you know what I mean. And they are the qualifiers from this particular heat. Very straightforward in the end for both the Kenyan and the American. But those times dwarfed by the quality of the running in the uh, second semi-final, Martin, just to reiterate, in case you've just joined us, that uh, the world number one, Babaloki Tebe of Botswana, the 19-year-old, running 44.67 to win the second semi-final. I mean, what, about five or six metres quicker than that win from Kipritic. Good though the run is, 45.38, a fabulous new personal best. these times Tim and I'm doing this without looking at the stats book if we'd have gone right to the start of the 80s and looked at things like the uh, Olympic final in 1980 and even the first world championships in 83 there weren't that many people running low 44s were there and we could see two or three men do it here that is the level of this competition it is outstanding isn't it astonishing yes it is indeed great run there by the way from the uh, Britain coming through. Cameron Chalmers just trying to check for his uh, time. But uh, there it is. He's run a lifetime best as Cameron Chalmers. 46.51. Great run. It may well have been his 27th race of the year, but if it takes you 27 races to get to your fastest time, that is what you do. Tremendous run by a huge margin as well. And unofficially, I can confirm that.